It must for take it. Because I understand. Velapi Mamba, we are here in the United States now. I expect you not to think like the people of Swaziland. The way you respond to me tells me unjenga maswa teka usengai bambi. Okay. This this is what I'm saying to you. Okay. United States has intelligence across the globe. They know what King Swat is doing. They know that Mswati made us people. They know that Mswati stole all the retirement funds of Swazis. They know all those things they know. Americans know. But if Nini Nabosbongil Mazibugu. Okay, if Kauzel Tats eh, say I'm tans as kind so say tans in course. Eh, I come gonna make a mazbug. I come gonna tula na masego. But that's how laban bafuning kosi abo. You understand what I'm saying? You send the wrong signals and the wrong messages to the international community, including folks here. Mina, I want to put together a delegation that's going to come and articulate the problems in Swaziland. Do you understand me, Vela Pimamba? You are at Harvard, but you still act like a Swazi from Swaziland. Your mentality. And mindset. Good time, America. I had good time. No, who knows? The government knows. The people, the intelligence, but the public, the, Amer the people who run this country are the American people. The public in America does not understand what's going on in Swaziland. A good number of them don't even know that Swaziland exists. <laughs> okay. So, he's my daughter. Majesty of Kalaga APC. Spins us be pass. I want to put together a very diversified group that comprise, that's comprised of all the people of Swaziland, all the various political parties, the civil society, right? And then you come here and you articulate the challenges at home. If you come to the United States, I put you in front of the media here. I've got people like Borena Jackson. So you're not just coming to present to Congress. You're coming here to speak to the American people. So, I mean, I'm going to put you in some of the mega churches here where everybody's going to see what's going on. I'm going to take you to, say, a human rights campaign, equality forum, where the presidents come and, and debate there. I'll put you in there because I used to work there. I built that building. So the human rights campaign, I'll bring people like Bo Elizabeth Bench, all those people, Bo Hillary Clinton, Bo Bill Clinton, Bo Obama, Oh, th that's what I'm saying. That's how you're going to publicize the Swazi case. Young Vai, no man give. So you're going to bring together both Gauzela, both Petfo, both Bongle Mazibuko, both Gauzela, you know, all those people who are prominent in Swazi who are speaking on behalf of the Swazi people. Instead, Gusbas Bolshala Passa South Africa, Baoshai dialogue, no. Come to the powers that be in the United States and talk to the American public. Apartheid was ended by the United States. Do you know that or not? If you don't know that, then we can't have a discussion, me and you. I'm saying the people of South Africa and us here, we worked in conjunction. Ronald Robinson was my president at TransAfrica. And he's the one that freed Nelson Mandela from Robin Island. Do you know that or not? If you don't know that, then we, we can proceed. Because you don't understand how this global world operates and how this world, co um, how, how things get executed here. So, Mtandena Bakreta would be out of prison if you were listening to me today and you put the pressure on Makosetiv. Nina, you sit in Southern Africa and you're going to sit down with SADC, people who don't even have the teeth, and they're not going to force my costume. Okay, if you look at Khama, he's now hiding in Swazin in South Africa. He's a former president of Botswana, who was the chairperson of SADC. And so they look at their beds. When I leave out of power, I'm going to need the king of Swaziland. So I'll be nice to the king of Swaziland. So that if I, I fall out of power here, I can always go to Swaziland and seek asylum or, or go there and, and run away from a government, run away from the Botswana government or the South African government, depending, you know, where the person comes from. So you need to understand how this world operates. But if you come and present an issue to the American people, the American, the public in America, 
puts the pressure on Congress, and then Congress responds and acts accordingly. You are at Harvard University, but you're still not clear on how things operate here. Nobody knows here what's going on in Swaziland, except the American ambassador in Swaziland and those people, and she briefs the presidents, and that's it. But you, Swazis, have not presented a case to the powers that be. Okay? The Anti-Apartheid Act, Comprehensive Anti-Apartheid Act 1986, is what effectively ended apartheid in South Africa. Do you understand that or not? So don't tell me, oh, International Committee is not going to free Swaziland. No. Pela Makosteva is above the law in Swaziland. So you cannot deal with Makosteva on his territory because he'll take you and throw you in jail and nobody will say anything about it. But if the world and international committee is observing and watching and monitoring and they can say, oh, hold on, stop it. That's what I'm talking about, Vila Pimamba. But we are not sophisticated. We are not, you're not up to speed. I mean, I'm telling you, I want to put together a delegation that's going to be comprised of all these people on the ground in Swaziland and outside Swaziland. Bo IP, bo Smongle Mazibu, bo Spetro, bo Vila Pimamba, even Mulungis Makanya. I don't care who you bring, but we need to put a diversified group of all the people of Swaziland together to say enough is enough. Nyega makositiva nge nge pongola, nge nge motoeni, e teksini, a slice of maswat. Ahambo tkinisa, atuk seklujini ena, e tinya matibantu. He came here to an Ivy League university and kidnapped a child. Do you think the Americans will tolerate that shit? But they don't know. Yeah, in upstate New York, in that area, they know because it was in the media. But you tell the whole American people as a whole now. He kidnaps children because make a collection of, of 18 wives. This is what is just unacceptable. He's removing kids from schools. He even removed a kid from the United States. So you come and articulate, to, I'll be there like, to facilitate and help you and guide you and give you my talking points. And we'll work all of us together. But when I've left my body, when I'm on TV, because then you have an agenda and you put them on. That's all you want. So, I mean, okay, fine. Bye-bye.